fun begins. Hello. Greetings, you How's it going? Hello there. Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, and today we're taking a look at the Zavales Toys figure box. Yeah, we're not doing the, the packaging segment. They do pack it very nice when you open the box and the figure's all bubble wrapped in there. What are we taking a look at today? Well, that's the Vales Toys Captain Rex. Let's get into this. So here's Rex. I'd ordinarily say out of the package, but since there's no packaging here, just out of the box. And as always, we're going to start by taking a look at the accessories. He comes with anything and everything and more than you might want in a Captain Rex, which is not a problem. He comes with a long rifle cast in black plastic. Not a drop of paint to be seen. Not a drop of paint needed, however. It does look very good. We've seen it a bunch of times. Very straight. These things don't come too super bowed anymore now that they're shipping them in the cardboard boxes. Seeing that off to the side, he comes with a clone trooper shorter rifle, which this one does have a touch of warp to it, but again, that's okay. It could be straightened in hot water or ultimately cast aside because Rex barely uses these. He's a pistol man. So, looking at the pistols, these are a little less used, but not new by any stretch, and they look very good, very faithful to what you would expect to see in the show. And I like this sculpt. He features two working his, uh, holsters, which the pistols slide into very well. They are not too tight. They are not too loose if you dangle them upside down. He is not losing them. Something else that I really like is he's using the 2023 sculpt, the variation with the trigger finger on each hand. So Vale's toys actually beat Hasbro here because they have yet to give us a commander with dual trigger fingers. And uh, now that they've given us the 23 body with a variation on the hands, I guarantee commanders in the future that come on the 23 body probably won't have the trigger finger on the other hand because that would just make sense. And Vales does clones better than Hasbro nine times out of ten. But looking at this guy, I gotta say, he does have a nice shelf presence. Now to really quick talk about morality and life and religion, and no, I'm not gonna do that far. But I've said before that I generally don't think that it's right to pick up Vale's Toys figures of clones that Hasbro has made. And as of recording, Hasbro has pipelined a Phase 1 Rex. It's not out yet. I'm using that as my gray scale, my gray area. However, there are photos that have leaked of it. They have pipelined it. We haven't seen legit photos. We've seen some factory leaks. And there are things on the legitimate one that I don't like. They're faithful to the Ahsoka series, and I don't like them in the Ahsoka series either, but he's going to have a rubber comma, which I don't like on either version, but I mean, I like the Veils ones better just because it lays very close at least, but also is flexible and gets out of the way. Um, but the holsters on that Rex are so long. They come almost down to here, and they just look ridiculous. They look like 03 Clone Wars animated holsters, and I just, I hated them there, and I hate them on the live-action Rex costume, and this, to me, is what Phase 1 Rex looks like. You know, I admittedly am not crazy about the Revenge of the Sith pauldron. I think they could have tapered that. But there are things on this that remind me of, like, the older Sideshow Rex. And that might be what they are using for reference here. Um, and end of the day, like, it doesn't look bad. It looks like Phase 1 Rex. There's a couple little gripes I got in this guy. But generally, I do like it. So let's get into it. For starters, let's start at the helmet. Helmet looks really good. It's a Phase 1 helmet with a rangefinder, which is exactly what Captain Rex wears. I like the deco. The J guys are applied very clean. He's got the uh, yellow tallies up on the temple there and going around back. You get a little bit of like a white line in the middle of the blue stripe because like the lip on the helmet there. And it's just how it goes sometimes, unfortunately. Um, but everything that is that should be there is there. The six lines on either side of the helmet. And it just looks right. Rangefinder's in black. Um, mine's a touch bowed just because it is very flexible and it's, you know, been wrapped up in bubble wrap and shipped halfway around the world. But it does feature a working hinge on it. And if you wanted to straighten it out, you could run it under some warm water and bow it straight and then dunk it in the cold water. So there's, there's possibilities there. Now, they haven't done anything here as far as the heads it's the same head sculpt that they use on all the other clones is just the generic you know tamura morrison head with hair um honestly you know take it or leave it i rex is one that probably would be cooler to have a painted head on however like 
I've basically never displayed any of my Rexes, my Phase 2 Rexes with the helmet off on the shelf. I don't know why I would start here. So while I'm like, it'd be cool to have, I'm also like, whatever. Um, I think that Veils would probably do it right if they did a uh, Rex head. You know, they'd, you know, like, alter the sculpt, remove the hair or whatever. Whereas Hasbro's probably going to give them short blonde, you know, minivan carpet, you know, like, super curly textured hair. And I just don't. I don't get why he's bald and everything we've ever seen him in. And Hasbro's insistent that he has like half inch blonde curly hair. And I'm like, no, he doesn't. It's not an animation style. He's bald, but whatever. I, uh, you know, and hot toys does it too. So I don't know. I, I mean, it's just like, we're obviously not looking at the same media here. So it, uh, is what it is, but not a deal breaker by any stretch. Something I will say I like is this, this pauldron. Let's get the head up out of the way. See the neck hole there has these little tabs that kind of like just create friction on the neck. So this pauldron does float. It's not glued down to the torso, but it holds snug on the neck. So like, you know, it's got, it's got range, but it's not like going all over the place. That actually is really cool. I, I like that design choice there. I think this is the first use of the single side pauldron. I think that Vales made the pauldron special for this guy. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty familiar with Vales library, but I could be mistaken there. The one real gripe that I have with this guy is the blue paint going down the arms. It is just very, very wide. I mean, looking at the side, the entire bicep there is blue and it should really be more of a stripe, like no wider than what's on the elbows there. And it's just like, you know, his arms, the biceps are 50% blue. The stripe on the shoulder pauldron, you know, like isn't bad. Like, that's probably closer. I'd be happier if it was like that. And then what's going on in the forearm here is if you articulate the elbow to where the hinge is, like, straight ahead, the blue paint, like, doesn't line up with the bicep. It's like it comes down and then curves over. And then when you have the hand, like, straight in line with your forearm, you know, for your vertical hinge... You know, the stripe doesn't line up on the hand very well. It's just, it's not very cleanly decoed. And it was like that in the promo photos. So it's how they're all going to be. It doesn't like ruin it, ruin it for me. But I'm just like, you know, I think that's probably something that Hasbro is going to end up doing better on theirs. Of course, they might follow Lucasfilm to the letter and flip the biceps. So who knows? But uh, that would be an easy boil and pop. Something that Dave Filoni couldn't be bothered to do on set. Working down the rest of the figure from there... It uh, has the rubber comma, which again, I'm not a fan of. Soft goods all day, every day, but Vales hasn't done soft goods for the last many releases. Might be something I want to DM them about. Just see, like, what's going on there? Because they were actually doing some nice soft goods. And I don't know if it was cost, but, like, I would like those to come back. But he has holsters that are not glued to the comma. And that's the other thing is on the uh, on the Hasbro one. I'm sure they're going to be molded into it. I like that these are a layer over top. It just I don't know. It just adds realism instead of it all being a smushed plastic blob. Um, it has a nice blue line painted around the comma. And then the legs look very good with the blue stripes on the knee pads. And otherwise, it's just white clone trooper armor. So, objectively, you know, they, they, they've hit all of the important things here. The arms are a little, a little rough, but... The, uh, I mean, the rest of it I love, and even the arms I can get over. Like, you know, get them in an action pose, like, whatever. You don't even see it. But, yeah, I mean, all in all, just Vales has done some really nice work here. So uh, let's run through some articulation. It's not really going to be anything mind-boggling. We've done this before. But he has a double ball neck, which keeping the chin in the helmet lets him look that far up, which that's pretty good. You can go that far down, side to side, all the pivot you could ever ask for. His arms come up to a T-pose. There's a deep butterfly joint in there. Bring him down. You can 360 at the shoulder. Of course, this side with the pauldron, you know, that hinders it. If you took the pauldron off, you could. There's an upper bicep swivel. Single jointed elbows. I can go a little past 90 and then swivel at the elbow. 360 on the wrist with left going up and down and the right going in and out. There's a mid-torso ball joint. Well, I'm going to crunch that far forward. Eh, not much back. Side to side. A little bit of pivot in there. His legs with the rubber comma can go that far out, which is a little hindered, but not the end of the world. He can kick pretty straight forward. Eh, that far back. That's not bad. There's an upper thigh rotation buried under the armor up there. Single jointed knees can go a little past 90 and then swivel at the knee. 
knee pads are loose floating in there, and then the feet can point that far down, that far up. There's a forward-facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get some pretty decently wide stances with both feet flat on the ground. I'm going to be honest, I didn't break out a whole ton for size comparisons here because I did, as you might notice, recently fix all my shelves, so I'm not trying to take anyone out of it right now. So for who I had loose, um, I have the Archive 501st clone because I'm trying to sell those if anyone's looking for any. Hit me up on Instagram. And... He stands basically the same height, which is nice because they're clones. And then here is the new body Stormtrooper, who also stands right at about six inches, so they're about the same height. So, all in all, I feel he scales rather nicely, and I'm satisfied with it. So at the end of the day, what do I think of the new Captain Rex? I love it. I think this is really well done. Again, the arms kind of bother me a little bit with the paint, but... Keyword is bother. It's not a deal breaker. I'm really satisfied of how this turns out. Uh, it turned out I really like the parts that Vales has put into it, and I genuinely feel like this might be some solid competition to the Hasbro figure whenever they decide to officially reveal and drop it. So I'm excited to see that. Um, a big reason also that I wanted to pick this up was to just do a comparison video when that comes out. Like, see who did Captain Rex better, Hasbro or Vales? Um, and I'll try not to limit myself to hating the Hasbro one for having to be accurate to the media, whereas Vales is just like, well, let's be accurate to the show that Rex is from. Because, like, I think a good middle ground there isn't a bad thing, you know. But that's how it is. I, uh, you know, I objectively, I do like this. This will be a fun figure just to have on the desk, because the Hasbro one will make it to the shelf ultimately by virtue of just being the Hasbro one. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Thanks a bunch for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. You know the drill. I will catch you next time. Until then, may the force be with each and every one of you, and goodbye.